If there's one thing you want to leave our audience today, what is the one thing you want them to hear? So anybody want to jump in there? We don't have to go in any particular order. Sandy. I'll jump in. Remember, all women who identify with as women are women. We can't go this alone and we need each other. Uh, so no matter how we identify, how we present, who we sleep with, we are women and we need each other. Uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you, Sandy. Tori. Great, I put it in the chat, but it's also important to understand that ally is both a noun and also a verb. It's not just who you are, but it's also what you do. I love that. Do you want to you want to unpack that a little further, Tori? Or, or uh... well, I you know what I love to, but I, in the interest of time, we will allow folks to dissect it on their own. Okay, fair enough. I love Jana, that. Tori. I'm to go and drink some more. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Jamie, how about I'll, you? I'll say I'd like to leave the 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 attendees with the reminder that there's enough to go around. There's enough for you to have the success that you have, the income that you need to survive and to thrive, and also to share your success, to share your financial resources, to share your career networks, your personal networks, your community networks with other people. There's enough for you and enough for other people. And I think we all have a responsibility to share what we achieve. I love that. Perfect segue into where we're going next. Jesse, how about you? Well, well, I just wanted to really quickly touch on something that, that Sandy said about being questioned about being in the women's room. I think I think for, for trans women, this is such an important point because everybody's assuming it's just about being trans, but it's not. It's about anybody that that is, you know, non-traditional or in their appearance. And, and I think that the takeaway should be that we are all women. And it doesn't matter how we present and all the arguments against it were the same arguments that were used in terms of racial discrimination. They were the same arguments that were used against LGB people. And they will be the same arguments that, that you know, is now you're going against non-binary people. And I think you have to realize that that affects all of us. It affects all women. It doesn't just affect trans women. And, and you know, I also want to say the exact same for, for, for trans men. Because you know the, the the communities that attack us also uh, want to take their agency away from saying, well, I was assigned female at birth, but I am male, and and they want to take that agency. So if they're being so concerned about about what they see as women, how do they explain that? And, and I think if anybody can just get that takeaway, I think that that then you know things can change. Otherwise, they won't. 